Calada Entourage is a visual analysis tool for the exploration of relationships between multiple biological pathways and associated experimental data. To start the analysis, we choose an initial pathway from a list. We can filter the list to find pathways by name, or find pathways that contain specific genes. We choose the lung cancer pathway and add it to the main window. Entourage shows you which pathways are related. You can either look for pathways that are similar in general, or search for pathways that share a specific node. We rank pathways by their degree of similarity. The similarity score is shown as bars. Now we add a couple of related pathways. To get more display space for pathways, we hide the pathway list. We distinguish between a focus pathway that is shown at full scale and context pathways that show only relevant parts. Paths are considered relevant if they contain a node selected by the analyst. We call this node the focus node. It is highlighted using purple stops, which point to related nodes. The stops are replaced by edges when hovering over a node. We can change the focus node interactively, which updates the path in the context pathways. Context pathways adapt to the available screen space. They show a thumbnail of the pathway map if there is ample space, or are collapsed if there is no space left. Pathways can be brought into focus at any time. To see which nodes play a role in multiple pathways, we can switch on stops for all nodes. Entourage also visualizes experimental data using two different approaches. We select the datasets in a dedicated interface. To get an overview of the values of a selected dataset, we can map averages onto the nodes. The variability of the samples is shown in small bars below the nodes. A more detailed analysis, a comparison between conditions, and the simultaneous analysis of multiple datasets is possible using the en route view. When we select a path, it is extracted and shown on the right. When alternative routes between a start and an end node are possible, we highlight them in different colors. We can easily switch between the alternatives. Path selection is possible across pathways. We can switch between branches in the experimental data view. To show the experimental data associated with the selected path in more detail, we can enlarge the view. Each column represents a cell line. Each row shows the values associated with a gene. A single pathway node can represent multiple genes, which is indicated by multiple rows that connect to a node. The data shown here is copy number variation, which is shown as bar charts. Additional datasets can be added in the data assignment interface. The mRNA expression data is also shown as bars, while mutations are indicated using color. We can choose from different groupings of the cell lines. Each group is shown as one column for each dataset. There are many groups in this case. We can select only those that we are really interested in. We can also add contextual data about the samples, such as clinical variables. In this case, we add pharmacological data that describes the sensitivity of cell lines to a particular drug.
As an alternative to individual bars, we can also show summary representations. We use box plots for numerical data and histograms for categorical data. Hovering the mouse over a box plot reveals details about the distribution. To identify all data associated with a sample, we use color highlighting. Sorting the samples by the values of a particular row makes data correlations easier to spot. We provide statistical tests to evaluate the significance of associations between different blocks of data. To run Fisher's exact test, we use a wizard to divide one data block into two classes. In this case, we set a threshold for classifying endometrium samples into those sensitive and those not sensitive to TKI258. The classification of samples is indicated as color overlays in the visualization. Samples with a light overlay are sensitive, those with a dark overlay are not sensitive to the drug. Then we classify a second data block from the endometrium samples into two groups. We select the mutation data from map K3 and use the suggested classification into mutated and not mutated samples. The system then executes the test and the resulting contingency table together with p-values is shown on the last wizard page. An alternative test we provide is the Wilcoxon rank sum test. While Fisher's exact test is widely used to compare categorical variables, the Wilcoxon rank sum test is better suited to detect differences in the distribution of continuous variables for two different classes. For this test, we can also manually define partitions in the data or have Entourage automatically calculate all possible partitions. The partitions are calculated for the first data block and applied to the second one. The results are summarized in a table that can be sorted and filtered. By selecting an entry, the results are shown in detail and the overlays in the visualization are adapted to the classification. We hope you enjoyed our tour of Kaleida Entourage. Thank you for watching our video.